Candice, uh, first, uh, thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about the series, about the novel, about everything that you have done. Congratulations on a successful, because in Australia it's very successful, so congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm very proud of the show and everyone who's on it. So I, I asked Thomas about producing, obviously adapting the novel to the, the, the series, which is really important. I, I think my question to you, how much did you work with him? How, and how important it was for you to, for him to maintain, you know, the, the, the essence and, you know, everything as, 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 as faithful as possible? Uh, Thomas is a very, very serious actor and we spent a lot of time on Zoom working out where this character came from in my brain because I think that he wanted to know, you know, the essence of that character. How did I build that character, you know, block upon block upon block? Uh, so, he, yeah, he was very serious about it and that uh, all, all, all the way along people coming onto this project and me talking to them and knowing that they understood the themes uh, and they understood the essence of this story. It was really comforting to me because I thought the, the, the nightmare is that this story gets away from you. It gets away from the book and it becomes something that's not even related to your book in any way. But here, I, I knew speaking to him that he got this character. Both Ted and Amanda, both the characters have something to prove. And I, I you see it all through the eight, the eight episodes, how they keep, you know, battling their inner demons, but their past, how to prove themselves. Um, are these characters based on something or, 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 or something that you lived or someone that you had a connection with? Because everything seemed to me so personal that I asked, I, could, I know a lot of people are going to connect to them. Yeah, uh, uh, Amanda, definitely. Um, I had a very strange childhood. My mother um, fostered 155 kids as I was growing up. And the, yeah, and there were six of us anyway. So um, sometimes there were six more at a time. And I think that I spent a lot of my childhood with her saying to me, I just need you to be cheerful and you don't have any problems and you're fine. And, and, and so Amanda is kind of like that. She's relentlessly cheerful and she has this mask on all the time um, a very intense kind of bubbly mask um, and underneath there is really dark stuff that's being pushed down and down and down I wanted to go with kind of a Lisbeth Salander vibe but it's that cheerfulness which pushes people away uh, rather than the grumpiness that you see with Lisbeth Salander um, and and Ted is an embodiment of Um, you know, just how badly things can go for you if you're accused of something. Um, I'm very interested in how people's lives are destroyed by accusations and, uh, and, and hearsay and rumor and, and that kind of thing. That's, uh, that's the criminal part of it um, that added to his person. Mm. You need that. You need the the, 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 the other hand on that one because that that's that Ted character is so relatable because we see that constantly happening and it's difficult to manage. I mm. I asked I asked the actors uh, because I, I'm creeped out <laughs> from snakes and alligators and <laughs> and even small lizards. I'm creeped out by everything. But just for fun, I asked them if they would survive a day in that environment and and something to me that's a nightmare of an environment. So I <laughs> asked you for fun, would you survive that environment? Would you that you wrote because you wrote that environment? Would you yeah. would you survive that environment? For me, I love animals and I, um, I rescue animals a lot and I am happy to grab a possum with my bare hands, you know, and, and this kind of thing. And so big animals I'm fine with and birds in particular, I, I'll just grab a bird with my bare hands. But it's the, it's the insects for me. Um, I sent Thomas this picture of a bird-eating spider Uh, from up there in Queensland and it's this giant spider that's got a bird tied up in its web and it's going to eat you know it's a eat and and I was like just watch out for these guys because they're up there you know uh, and yeah so I, I don't think that I could deal very well with the insects um, in that area of the world no I had lived up there briefly and uh, yeah there's there's stuff up there that it's almost magical everything just gets blown up larger you know mm. 
that's what the fantastic speaks in real life. That's what it yeah. is. <laughs> One final question before I let you go, because I know I'm short on time. What can people expect? Uh, you come, you'll be in the author of the novel. What can people expect from me from the novel to the series? What can they expect on this perfect season? Look, um, it's uh, it's an it's a TV show and a book that you are encouraged to participate in. Uh, I want you to take sides. I want you to decide who is a bad character and who is a good character in this because that is the most fun. You know, you watch something like Succession and you're like, I'm with her. I'm with him. I'm with it. She's lying. He's lying. You know, I want you to do that with both the novel and the TV show. I want you to turn to your partner and say, you know, why are you watching it? Uh, I would do that or I'm with him or and, and have little arguments because uh, I think that that's, that's just the most fun. That's awesome. Candice, again, I thank you for taking a little bit of your time and congratulations on the series, the book, everything is just awesome. I absolutely loved it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Rafi. That's great. Thank you.